is the difference between a line, a line segment and a ray? Shall we do that with an arrow competition? There's no better way to learn than with a game, right? So, what I'm going to do now is three different things, but you need to observe carefully. This path followed by the arrow is what we call the line segment. Take a look at one more. This is what you call a ray. And one last one. Ready? And this is what you call a line. So what is the difference your keen eyes observe? In the first case, we had a starting point and an ending point, right? So that was a line segment. In the second case, we did have a starting point, but we let the end point go, go on. Right? We let it go on. That is called a ray. So a ray goes on from a point infinitely or forever in one direction. And finally, we had something called a line. And what did the line do? It did the same thing a ray did, but in two directions. So a line originated from a point and went in two ways. And in both the ways, it goes on and on and on forever. So I hope now that the difference between them is clear. Let's start looking at each of them in more detail. We understood that a line segment has a start point and an end point. A name for its start point, please. A name for its end point, please. Perfect. So this is how you will name a line segment. Examples? Pretty much anything that you can get out of this. Like the edge of this table or the edge of this postcard or even this tube light. So many things which you can also come up with. Another interesting thing line segments give you is the shortest distance you would need to walk between any two points. You cannot see it like this. So let me show you. Right? This is a beautiful path. See, this is your starting point at school and this is your ending point at home. In how many ways can you get home from school? Of course, as you can see, there are crazy number of ways to get home. Via the flower shop, picking up some flowers for mom maybe, having a look at the swimming pool, having a look at the park, right? Maybe around a little pond. So many options. So what if I asked you another important question? What is the route you will take if you have to get home the fastest? Yes, this one. And this is a line segment. So the line segment also tells you something important. The shortest distance between any two points. That is a line segment. So AB in this case is a line segment. This is how you'll represent it. So what was a line segment? When I plugged in the stop points on the line on either side. Now what if I open up one side and let it go? It becomes a ray, right? It's like shooting an arrow in a straight line into space. Where else would you see this? Wait a minute. Let's have the lights off, please. There you go. That is a ray. Let's have the lights back on. Okay, great. So, other than arrows and lasers, you guys think about more examples. So how do you represent a ray? The weird and funny thing is, it's also represented like this, with a little arrow head, to show that it goes on and on and on and on. And with symbols, you would represent it like this. Now if I took my line segment, right? And instead of stopping the line here and here, if I open this plug and open this plug and let the line shoot through in both the directions, I get a line. And since this goes on and on and on infinitely, we say infinite when it goes on and on and on and on and on in both directions, we call this a line. An important question that may hit you, hey, does the line finish? Can you draw a complete picture of the line? No, right? So how would you represent it? Like this, with a little arrow here, a little arrow here. And sometimes a line gets a name for itself as well. If you like this video and want to watch many, many more amazing videos like these, 
like and subscribe to our channel now.